Okay, this is uh, Mark from Mark and Matt, and I'm just doing a review on the Lego Star Wars 2010 Slave 1, number 8097. It has uh, 573 pieces and was $80 at Toys R Us. Okay, so, to start off, we'll start off with the minifigures. It comes with, of course, Boba Fett. Boba Fett, he's my favorite. New Boba Fett, it's really cool. Has the Wookiee hair down him. He has the a new cape, it's like a little frilled. The clone trooper jetpack, and a new helmet with the clone antenna gear. Yeah, the helmet's removable, and to give you a new face, it's like a clone face. Really, if you can see that, but I probably can't. But it's Really cool. I like how they give him that new face. And a blaster with a new gun. Legs are a uh, lightish bluish color. Not like the other Boba Fett. And next we have Bosk. Bosk is a new character to the Lego Star Wars. He is a double sided torso. Looks really nice. His head sort of looks a little funny, but still. Just comes with the standard, the long rifle. Standard long rifle. He's a nice yellow color. I really like that yellow. And last, we have Han Solo. He's like... I think he has a new face from the other Han Solo, from the X-Wing and all the previous. He's really nice. He does not have double printed shirt or anything. He's just, yeah, a regular Han Solo. And it also comes with the Han Solo and Carbine. This is a really nice piece. It's really detailed. I really like it. It's really cool. It has the buttons on the side. It has a place for the minifigures to grip. And it, it's really cool. Is in back, you can uh, put Han Solo in in the case right here like this there's two little pegs inside the carbonite and you stick Han Solo in there for the to put him in the slave one I'll show you the pegs two little pegs right there and right there those are where his uh, hands go okay so now on to the ship itself Okay, so this is the Slave 1. Really nice. I really like this. It's uh, my first Slave 1, and Boba Fett happens to be my favorite Star Wars character. Okay, so start from this end. Okay, it comes with uh, two rotating blasters, 360 degree rotation, if you can get it past this little thing right there. Yeah, so I don't do that right now two of them. This door opens, but I really can't get a good grip on it. It's really stiff. Here, I'll try and get it open for you. It might take a second. Hold on. Not a good piece to mess with. Okay, well, I'll try and get it open later. Those doors are really stiff. It just comes. There's like this little sliding piece in there. It's like a a crate with a piece on top of it. Next, we have these folding doors that open up, and uh, they have the flip fire missiles inside of them. Stand it up so you can see it. Yeah. Like that. If I'm not gonna flick them because I don't really want to. Okay, close that up. Next, we have these little doors or these little crates boxes right here to hold stuff. Like right now, it's a clone blaster in it comes with the full clone gear. 
some reason. Maybe for the antenna. But there's one on the other side. Right there. Opens up. Another one of those clone blasters in there. Okay, and a really cool thing about this is that it's not just the same thing on both sides. See right here? It has uh, this right there. Well, on this side, it just has one uh, smooth piece. I like that. It's really cool. Okay. Now, if you open this, try to stand it up with your hands. It's really annoying. Okay, right there. If you can see in there, it has the missile. The missiles, the missile rack thing, and uh, yeah, if you, there's a button on the back right here. If you push that button in, it will shoot these missiles and like a uh, the Republic attack shuttle thing. Yeah, like that. It's really cool. I'll shoot a few off for you. Yeah, I'll pick those up later. Okay, so it's a it's a nice feature, but I mean, it takes up a lot of room that you can use for like putting more minifigures in. Because right now, as it is, you can only fit pretty much fit Boba Fett in it. Okay, so I'll show you that in a little bit. Okay. So, moving on, these wings, really nicely detailed, have like little droid arms, little panels in the back, this thing, which it doesn't really, it doesn't hook onto anything, it's just there, like that, it just slides right in there, and it's the same on both sides, same exact wing, okay now I'm gonna show you the door, it's just one big door piece. It's a really nice piece. I like it. It has uh, three stickers on the door. One right there. Or four stickers. One right there. The middle one. The other side. And then this really cool looking sticker. It's the Mandalorian emblem. If you can see it. Good. That's a really cool sticker. But yeah, this ship has I think six stickers. That piece right there. Who knows? Hold on. I don't count how many it has. There's one right there. There's one on the door. Another one right there. And right there, right there, right there, and right there. Okay, so that's like seven stickers. I'm pretty sure I had, it. I had another one. So eight. Oh, right there. Yeah, right there on the top. That's eight. Yeah, the top's really cool. It's like, oh, mismatched. Let's see? Different colors. It's really cool. Okay, there's the other side of it. Okay, so now I'm gonna put a uh, Boba Fett in it. I'll show you the inside. Yeah, that's the inside. Has the little. There's a lot of room on the bottom for some reason. I'm thinking maybe Boss goes in there, but it would be really uh, difficult to take him out if he could. So I'm gonna put Boba Fett in there. Oh yes. Okay. So yeah. He's a, he can fit in there. I mean, Boss can fit in there. But he has to go on the bottom or something. He cannot even sit there because. Hold on, I'll show you this. When you lift up the ship, Boba moves with the wings, and the wings come up like that. You can see my other stuff in the background, but that's okay. Yeah, the wings come up when you lift the ship up. Sorry about the lighting. I have one little lamp. Okay, so. It really only fits one minifigure inside. It's, a, it's the only problem that I think I have with the ship. It only fits one thing inside, and Boba Fett can only go a certain distance because of that missile rack. It's 
rack right here. It really does take up a lot of room. If you could probably modify it to not have the rack in there, and you'd probably get a lot more room. Okay, now I'll show you the back of the ship. Oh yeah, there's also four more stickers on it right there. Okay, now I'll show you the back. The back is really cool. It has a lot. I really like the back of this thing. It's really awesome. So, yeah, these are all like the thrusters and stuff. The, there's the button that you push. Really nice back. I hold it right there. That's a really sturdy spot to hold it if you want to pick it up. Okay, now part I think I forgot about in the front here is the docking, the boarding ramp. In the boarding ramp, there is a spot right there. You can see the inside a little bit, but there's a spot right there to put your uh, Han Solo and Carbonite. Just slide them in there, and it's, it's two little things stopping. Then you just slide it down like that. Okay, yeah. So, all in all, this is a really nice Lego set, but I mean, I could see maybe 60 for it, but 80 is quite a bit. So, yeah. I got this at Toys R Us on the 29th. Or, no, not the 29th. Uh, let's see. Saturday. Last Saturday from here. I don't exactly know what date it is. But a really cool thing that's happening there is if you pick up any Lego set between now and the 29th of uh, August, you can get one of these. It's a Chrome Stormtrooper. I still have mine in the poly bag because I don't really want to open it right now. Yeah, so yeah, you get one of these really cool Stormtroopers. Okay, that's it.